Hey everyone, it's Merlene here with Savvy Thoughts and thank you and welcome back again to another one of our videos. In this video, we're making this delicious, crispy and crunchy air fryer cauliflower. Let's get started. So to begin, you want to go ahead and clean your cauliflower thoroughly. Once you are done cleaning your cauliflower, go ahead and break apart the florets. Be sure to keep them into small sizes or medium sizes because if they're too big, then you risk burning them in the air fryer. Once you are done, go ahead and wash them and pat them dry. Then set them aside. In a separate bowl, go ahead and add in your milk and eggs. Whisk well to combine. Once you are done, go ahead and set it aside. And in a separate bowl, go ahead and add in the seasoning that you'll need to coat the cauliflower. Guys, the full recipe is on our website at savvythoughts.com. Once you are done adding in the breadcrumbs and the other spices, go ahead and mix well and set it aside. In a medium sized saucepan, go ahead and add in about two cups of water and bring to boil. Once the water starts to boil, go ahead and add in the cauliflower florets and blanch for about three to five minutes. Once you're done, drain and sit it aside in a paper towel bowl and allow it to cool. Once the cauliflowers are cool enough to touch, go ahead and transfer them to the milk and eggs mixture. Coat well then transfer it to the breadcrumbs mixture. Once you have coated all of the cauliflower florets, go ahead and transfer them to the air fryer basket. Depending on the air fryer basket that you have, you may need to preheat your air fryer first. However, we are using our Crooks air fryer. There's no need to preheat ours. Go ahead and set the temperature to 370 degrees. Air fry the cauliflower for 10 to 12 minutes. Meanwhile, while the cauliflower is cooking, Go ahead and prepare the yogurt sauce. In a small container, add in the yogurt, followed by the lemon juice, then the salt and garlic powder. Mix well to combine and refrigerate until ready to use. And guys, that's it. This is so easy to make and it can be served as an appetizer or as a snack. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video. We would love for you to subscribe and hit the notification bell as we post new videos weekly. Cheers.